Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Night of the Raven. Okay, now we're going to complete a few more random quests and now we're going into the low section of the city. We won't really be going here much because there's not much really to do here but there's one quest of interest and I'm going to Ignis's hut. He's like Constantino, just a little more insane and talk to him. This glitch, you can't hear him talk for two dialogues. I'm still gonna let the dialogue go so you can read it. Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. Just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. Alright, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Okay, now there's this quest is best done at midnight because there's one person just waiting to get the crap beaten out of him. And that's Valentino, you can find him in Corrigan's pub. Also, um, Valentino has a ring as part of a side quest. You'll figure out that later on. Wow, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, go inside Corrigan's pub. And before you talk to Valentino, who's just sitting around here almost the whole vin midnight, talk to Regis. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. And I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can trade anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're going to have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person. But that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Now I talk to Valentino. Hey. Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down-at-heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. 
I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino, the handsome, bon vivant and ladies man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Doesn't matter to me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. Do you have anything else to tell me? Make yourself popular. Never promise anything to anyone. Take what you can and watch out that you don't get into a quarrel with the militia. Or with jealous husbands, of course. They're the worst, let me tell you. Well, you can see how full of himself he is, and now you know why he needs to get the crap beaten out of him. So, wait around till 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, have a drink or something, some dark powder beer, maybe some gin. And sit down. Wait till 4 o'clock. Okay, when it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning, equip an oblivion scroll. Have a beer if you want. And follow Valentino out. Oh, what the hell was that? And now kill him, not kill him, knock him down, sorry. He's really easy to kill, so... Why do I keep saying kill, knock down, jeez. key to his chest and now use an oblivion scroll on him okay now talk to him wait a minute do you have anything else to tell me Leave me alone. Yep, it seems like the Oblivion Scroll worked. So go back to Ignis. I use the Spell Scroll. Fine, fine. And were you successful? Yes, it worked. Excellent. Small success for science. Big one for me. Now, I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Okay, now go to Regis and talk to him. And I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, I found this ring on him when our little disagreement had been settled. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who beats him up. Okay, now talk to Corrigan for a pretty funny Valentino scenario. Was unable to pay his bar tab last night. He was wild. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole quest. 
and the side quest with Valentina's ring. So, see you later.